right behind me here at 59 Grove Street once stood the home of Marguerite de Bonneville, and she was dear friends with this man right here, Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine was a writer, a journalist, a pamphleteer, a war correspondent. He traveled alongside George Washington and the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War, and he wrote about what he saw. It was the winter of 1776. Washington and his army are in New Jersey, making their way to McConkie's Ferry to cross the Delaware. The soldiers are shoeless, shirtless, coatless. They have literally resorted to eating their horses. Soldiers have a one-year enlistment. That's it. That enlistment is up at Christmas time. Nobody wants to be on the losing side of a war. I have my warm bed at home and my beautiful wife. Soldiers were threatening not to re-enlist. That is when Thomas Paine penned one of his most famous pamphlets, The Crisis. And it started like this. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier, the sunshine patriot, and this crisis will shrink from the service of their country. But those that stand by us now deserve the love and thanks of man and woman. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered. But we have this consolation, that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. Now Washington reads this and he says, I don't care how tired and cold they are, line up the Continental Army. I want the crisis read in its full entirety. The soldiers line up, the crisis is read, tears stream down the faces of those soldiers and they enlist to fight another year. They would also from that point on adopt the motto, victory or death. And this would inspire them to cross the Delaware and win the Battle of Trenton. This was a critical moment. Some fought with the sword, others fought with the quill. Just as valid. Who knows what would have happened if not for Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine would die on this site in the home of his dear friend Marguerite de Bonneville in 1809. And this plaque here commemorates that. Check out some of Thomas Paine's most famous quotes inscribed here. The world is my country. All of mankind are my brethren, and to do good is my religion. Boy, we could sure use a few good men like Thomas Paine today.